And Ethan, thank you. Nearly halfway through the year, Indianapolis has seen double-digit decreases in most violent crime categories. Fox 59 Jesse Wells has details, though, on those numbers and the one crime that continues to be a major problem. Auto thefts saw a huge increase starting last year. That trend has continued this year with a 38% increase so far. That number stands out because so many other crimes have actually gone down. A small pile of broken glass in the parking lot of this Northside apartment complex marks the spot where someone stole a Hyundai from Demetrius Brownlow. It is frustrating because I got to go through the process of hoping I get it back. Demetrius isn't the only victim of auto theft overnight. This stack of police reports from Tuesday morning shows in the span of just three hours, IMPD took seven reports of stolen cars. Last year, the department issued a community alert when Kia and Hyundai thefts began to skyrocket. Demetrius noticed that trend but hoped he wouldn't fall victim. I did, but I thought I'd get lucky. <laughs> I thought I'd get lucky, but no, I didn't get lucky. This year, while overall property crime is down slightly citywide, auto theft has continued to climb. Yeah, certainly Kias and Hondas have contributed to a lot, large portion of these auto thefts. We want to remind people to use steering wheel locks, which we provide free of charge. Aside from auto thefts, IMPD reports nearly every violent crime has seen a significant decrease so far in 2024, with murders, non-fatal shootings, aggravated batteries, robberies, and overall violence all down by double figures compared to the same time last year. We want those crime numbers to continue to go down. We're hopeful that with the work of our detectives, cooperation from members of our community, the use of technology and other tools, that we'll continue to see that trend. There's still work to be done. While anti-violence advocate Aaron Williams praised the current violent crime trend, he insists there's more work to be done to make sure the numbers continue to go down. This is the time to be more vigilant than ever before. We can't just let our guard down. We can't celebrate and say, all right, we've made, you know, all the success that we want. We have to be more vigilant. We actually need to double down on our efforts. Investigating fewer crimes has also led to more cases being solved. As you can see so far this year, IMPD reports the homicide clearance rate has increased dramatically. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you.